Hi everybody, welcome back to another video here at Rule 1 Model Railways. Today I want to show you the unboxing of this. This is a new, I hope it is actually, a new Class 68 locomotive to us. Uh, purchased second hand from Clark's Rails. And we will open that up. See you in a second. So here we are, get our trusty knife, open this up, see what we've got. Hopefully we've done well. This is supposed to be DCC fitted, so we'll give that a go and see what happens. It's quite well packaged. As you can see there, it was inside that. And it's well bubble wrapped as well, which is good. Something I always like to see. Oh, and they've uh, wrapped it in uh, tissue paper. I think this will have to just rip off actually. Oh wow. Oh yes, this looks good. So they've also included of theirs. loco tested and we can see there what um, they thought of it so we have excellent smooth DCC DC so run on both working lights so that's all ticked off Ellis Clark trains that's it that's where that's from and uh, that's their web address as well Let's open this up and have a look at what we got. I've been after one of these for ages, so this is very exciting for me. Dapol really uh, up their game compared to the last model I bought there with their boxes. These boxes are, look really good. I think that was the DCC blanking plate. Yeah, it was. So that's the next 18 blanking plate. Put that back in. Oh, that's not good. So already we have some detail that's fell off. In fact, we're missing a buffer. There it is. An, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that's not great. It was advertised and in the pictures it showed all the buffers were intact and they're obviously not. One's actually snapped off on one side. No, they're both snapped off, look. Oh dear. You can actually see a white mark where the buffer would have attached. That's a snapped mark. That's not good at all. Especially for the price paid. Well, I'll have to get on to them about that. But we'll give it a test run and see what we've got. Hopefully, this is set to number three. I'll have a look at those buffers later on. So here we go, just placed it on the uh, tracks. 
we stuck this on, see it there? Number three. And we shall see if it goes. Well, that runs well. Oh. I think we might have a split gear there. So it runs okay that way. Let's listen. Yeah. It's a split gear there. You hear the click, 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 click. And it's only in one direction. That is a indication of a split gear. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just test the features and see if the other features are working. So number one, it's got three functions I'm told. So number one, that's the front lights. Number two, it's the other lights. So they're white on this end, red on that end. And then number three, we have cab lights. You can just about see that. Alexa, lights off. There you go. If I change direction. There. See all the lights coming on. So that's working. Alexa, front on. So, we'll just do some running shots now, of it running around the layout, just so you can see what the Class 68 looks like on Western Parkway. After that, we're going to fire off an email to Clark's trains and see what they can do for us about the condition we've received it in because it's obviously not great but uh, we'll see. Now that was awkward. I don't know if you saw I cut the video a second ago. The reason that happened is the front part fell off. It's obviously had a very bad time in the post. Um, it's coming back round now so we'll take it off and have a look at um, see what's happened there. That was uh, Something that's never happened before. As you can see there, there's nothing protruding on those points whatsoever at that section, so it literally just fell off. Not very impressed. Let's have a look. So that's actually off the back one. So it's not even if it hit anything and it fell off, it just fell off the back. Well, I never. Oh, that's very disappointing. Very disappointing, especially with a card that marks the condition of this as excellent so far. We've had loads of bits just fell off. Well, I think for now, we're going to give this video a break and come back to it for part two and see what Ellis Trains come back to us with. But well, after that disappointment, thanks for watching. Take care.